how y'all doing i'm the watchman and i'm gonna just get right into it in part three i hate having only 15 minutes to upload stuff you know but after i started these pope francis videos a lot of crazy things have happened i can only upload stuff for 15 minutes now the uh they they all of a sudden it was hard I, my all my laptops i couldn't connect to my wi-fi you know i had to use my my router plug and go straight into my computer my wi-fi wouldn't work on none of my laptops except my mac you know for some reason you know i think i think it's true what they say a mac is virus proof but anyway let me get all those problems fixed but anyway uh the truth of the matter is and like my dear friend brandy she wanted to see the beauty she wanted to see some beauty in revelation because believe it or not at the all these sobering uh just like in part two we talked about the wine of the wrath of god can you imagine facing god's wrath without no mercy i can't imagine i cannot imagine there is there is a beautiful and bright side to all of this and after hearing about all this sometimes it can be draining and uh discouraging because we are sinners and the task looks so monster the task looks so humongous that we have to you know that that we feel we have to face but remember beloved as long as you're connected to the vine as long as you attach yourself to christ you don't have to face it alone listen to the holy spirit the holy spirit will guide you into letting those bad habits go and he will guide you into communion with christ that is the holy spirit's aim is for you to not be lost remember it is harder for someone to be lost than it is to be saved meaning uh the holy spirit is steady trying to guide us it's us who leave God it's us who ignores his voice and I'm glad Brandy asked to show the beauty of Revelation because I would have never thought to at this time because there's so much going on there's so much going on but I want to reiterate beloved the reason why the devil doesn't want anyone to know about the three angels message because it holds the most fiercest punishment for all mankind there is no punishment like drinking the wine of the wrath of God that is poured out without mercy now like I stressed before in the garden of Gethsemane when Jesus cried out to his father three times father please let this cup pass from me this is the very cup that Jesus was pleading to let pass he wasn't pleading to just not go to the cross beloved millions of people died from a, a crucifixion that that wasn't what Jesus was Cry, dropping cry, uh, tears of blood you know that 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 wasn't it it was he did not want to drink the wine of the wrath of his father see God is so just that God gave Christ because Christ became sin Christ had to take the sinner's punishment and as we see this was this this is the sinner's punishment so if you choose to 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 keep in your lifestyles, to keep doing what you're doing, to keep talking how you're talking and walking how you're walking, you're choosing, you're telling Christ, I don't want your substitute. I want to drink the cup for myself. It's not easy. It's not easy at all, especially nowadays. But like I said before, thank God <laughs> we have a high priest who knows what we're wrestling with and he knows when you're earnestly striving so all I can say is seek to be found at Christ's feet daily day and night study all you can pray all you can talk to him throughout your day throughout your night now is the time you we're on the edge of eternity the edge of eternity you know John turn with me to Revelation 7 and John when when hearing all these things like I said they can be discouraged and John just started to hear a little bit of this stuff and God knew 
John needed some pick me up. He needed some pick me up. Let's go to Revelation 7. And let's start let's start with verse 3. Let's start with verse 2. And I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living God. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels, to whom it was given to hurt the earth and sea, saying, Hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our God in their foreheads. And I heard the number of them which were sealed, and there were sealed, a hundred and forty four thousand of all the tribes of the children of Israel now there are many talks and speculation on who the hundred and forty four thousand is I don't get into it I just take the word as it says it says the hundred and forty four thousand were of all the tribes of the children of Israel and then it, in the next three four verses it breaks it down out of each tribe twelve thousand was taken and that's how I got to the number 100. I just take it as that but beloved that's a pretty small number of those who are saved, right? Even that can be discouraging because you're like, wow, it's what? It's almost a million people in my little town as it is. And and right here, a only 144,000? This is why the devil wants you to focus on that number because that's a small number. But beloved, I tell you, when dealing with God, the majority, <laughs> of pe the majority is never right. Have you noticed that? Throughout the whole Bible, the majority is never right. It's never good to just follow the crowd. But even though this number is small, strive to be in this number. That means you have to set your standard high. You have to set your standard high. Do not follow the majority when they say, oh, the law is done away with. It's all right to do this. Or, oh, you know, this ain't too bad. It ain't. I don't know why they get upset. No, set your standard high. Search your soul. Search your character now. Prepare for Jesus coming now. Do not put it off like many and most do. And like I said, you're not, you, you, you still might sin and fall by the way, but God is right there to pick you right back up. It is never too late. The thief on the cross was a testament to us last day Christians that you can be in the mix of punishment and still receive salvation. Hmm? He was a type for us that you could be in the mix of punishment and still receive salvation if you turn your heart over to God earnestly, earnestly. But look, so that number can be discouraging, 144,000. And, and, and sin for me, I'm, I'll just spend my time trying to help y'all get in. I don't even I don't deserve heaven and let alone I don't deserve to be in that number you know that's a small number I know I know there are many people who haven't done half of what I've done in my lifetime who deserve to be in that number so if that was all that was gonna be saved beloved Joshua Wiley can can throw it out the window because I won't be found in that number but, and this is where, dear Brandy, this, this but right here is a great but. But, John sees another number. God said, okay, John, I show you that, but check this out, John. Verse 9, Revelation, chapter 7, verse 9. Now, see, God had to take a break and show John this to lift up his spirits just so John could carry on. All the other things that we've been studying about the beast, about the the wine of the wrath of God, about the image, all this. So John could be able to handle that stuff. God had to show him this. God had to show him this. Verse 9, Revelation 7, verse 9, it says, After this I beheld, and lo, a great multitude which no man could number. <laughs> he names 144,000. But then he says, I see a multitude which no man could number. Of all nations, kindreds, peoples, and tongues, who stood before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed with white robes and palms in their hands. Now, I can't make 144,000, <laughs> but I can make that great multitude. You see what I'm saying? God is awesome. I can't make 144,000. I don't deserve, I don't even deserve heaven. That isn't my goal. 
earnest, honestly and earnestly, my goal is to help others get in. But that number right there, that number, which no man could number, I can make that. Now that's shootable for old Joshua. That's shootable for old Joshua. You can make that number. So don't argue with those those theologians and, you know, just regular Christians who, oh, who's the 144,000, 144,000? No, don't focus on that number. Set your standard to that number, you know. Set your standard to that number. Try to be a part of that small number. But, beloved, don't get discouraged because there's another number that John saw before the throne. And these, beloved, are the, the Christians from all throughout history all throughout history these are they these are they this is that number that no man can number of all throughout history but in our last day and time it's only going to be a remnant which is sad because many are going to be going to and fro doing the same things Steady putting it off. You know how we do. Let's be honest. You know how we do. Oh, I'll change that tomorrow. Or oh, I'll do that tomorrow. And that's where the weeping and gnashing of teeth is going to come in. Beloved, some people say, you're not supposed to be afraid of God. You're not, you're not supposed to fear God. But, beloved, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of all wisdom. Why? Because, beloved, I'm telling you, I have a healthy fear of God in my heart. And and fear means yare in Hebrew, and it also means to reverence and to stand in awe. But that that the fear that we think of, yes, I have a healthy fear of God, because that's one thing that's lacking on the earth is a fear of God. And I told a friend the other night, I said, I said, beloved, I don't, I told, I said, I don't deserve heaven, but I don't want to be on the other side. I honestly don't. I don't want to drink the wine of the wrath of God. Pulled out without mixture? Can you imagine? Who wants to say, yeah, I don't fear God. You don't fear that cup? Beloved, my kids, my children love me to death. They love me to death. But when I give them that look, like I'm about to, I'm about to tell, I'm inches from tearing in the old butt. I got a belt, an old belt I keep right here next, like, I just pull it out like, like a whip. I'm inches from tearing... That, that fear that they have when they see that look that makes them act right, that's the fear I'm talking about. We, you, we need that healthy fear, that act right that'll make you, hold on, what am I doing? This is God that I'm playing with. This is God that I'm toying with. Now, beloved, like I said, don't get down because there are sins and things in our lives, especially nowadays, that have a grip and chokehold on us. And it takes only God and the Holy Spirit, supernatural power to break all of these things. So you might stumble and fall. Trust me, there are things in my life I'm trying to get out now and I'm stumbling and I'm falling. But one thing I know from reading this word that God is with me and he is never he's not going to forsake me. It, all the way up until we got to probation close to fight. Long as he see you fighting and earnestly striving, you know, because one day I will have the victory. It ain't that I might, I will. What on earth is God not able to save? If if there's something in my life and I and I don't think God can save me from it, I'm saying that thing is greater than my God. What on earth is greater than my God? What habit is stronger than Christ Jesus? Hmm? What bad trait? What, what thing that's passed down through my DNA? What's in my DNA that's too strong for the Holy Spirit to handle? Nothing, beloved. I tell you, the 144,000, set your standard to be in that number. For real, set your standard to be in that number. Because that number is so small and tiny. So set your standard to walk through that narrow gate. But beloved, keep in the back of your mind that there is a number that no man can number. And we all can make, we can make that number. <laughs> you know, I can make that number. You know, when the devil was in your end, he might say, Oh, you... You're, you're too bad to be saved and you done done this and that. But hold on, there's a number that no man can, and I can make that number. You know, the, the Bible is all about the earth being rebaptized, and there's going to be a new heaven and a new earth. We can be there. Let's be there. 
Let's be there.